Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided I am going to do a June I'm gonna start my favorite videos. videos on July 1st. So that way I can kind of go on and do favorites videos every month. So today I am going to do products that I have been living for, that I love, and that I have tried, you know, I've been trying for months. Uh, some of them I only tried, you know, three to five days. So, but I feel like after the second day of using something, I can really know if I love something. So I do have some um, body and hair things. I have a perfume. I have makeup. I have a setting spray. I will get right into it. And then I have is the Soap and Glory Breakfast Smoothie Scrub. I got this at Retail Target for, and it's $13.99. It looks like and this. It lo and it smells like pancakes, you guys. It has a it very has nice people. scent to it. So I use this every time I take a shower and that's how good this is it doesn't dry out my skin it doesn't you know make my skin feel raw it really just hydrates and exfoliates it's, it's so good and I think I said in my other video normally person I am who will scrub my body and then put body wash on but with this I do my body wash and then my scrub because it just makes my skin feel so silky and just good like it just it just feels so good. So I that love this down, stuff. It is the best body scrub I've ever used. It does not give me that greasy or oily or sticky or kind of like tight feeling. It really just gives you such and we have just a smooth more feeling. Prep and set makeup setting spray. This retails at $14.99, which I believe is an awesome price for a setting spray. It looks like a hairspray. It has an aerosol can. And this, what you do spray with this on your makeup and know. it sets it. So what I do is I just let it kind of spray like that and just kind of put my face out there and it just sets my makeup and it lasts all day long. No sticky feeling and it smells really then good. Then I have my favorite perfume. I've been using this for years. And this is Pink Sugar. So you can buy this at Kohl's. You can buy it at Sephora. It literally oh, just smells like cotton like, candy. What are like, you wearing? You smell like cotton candy. But it's like a good cotton candy. It's not like a cheap cotton candy. Like, you can tell it's, like, an expensive, well, not, it's not even that expensive. It's, like, $45. But you can tell it's, like, a good perfume. So, I've been using it for years. I'm obsessed. I love it. I recommend it to everybody, actually. The next so. product that I have is a hair product. So, this is the Long Sexy Hair. Um, this is the Lux Detangler. So, what I do with this is, once I take a shower and wash my hair, I put this in my hair, just run it through, and then I just brush out my hair, and it's, like, a leave-in conditioner. So good. It's um, ideal for long hair and extensions, which I have pretty long hair. I don't have extensions, but I have long hair, so it works really well for me. It gets all the tangles out, and it makes my hair really, really soft and smooth. So I love it. Um, I bought this at Cosmoprov, but Cosmoprov is actually a place where only licensed cosmetologists can shop, and I am a licensed cosmetologist, if you all didn't know that, which I don't think I haven't mentioned that in any of my videos, but I am. And um, so that's where I got this, but I'm sure you can buy it at other places as and then well. I'll get into the um, makeup portion of it. This is the Milani bronzer. This is the Soleil baked bronzer. This is really pretty. I bought this like probably two, three years ago and I just started using it again. It's got like shimmer, like shimmery in it. It's really, really pretty. I actually, I don't know why I stopped using it, but it's just, it's just a good bronzer. You guys can see that it's got a little bit of sparkle in it, but not to where you're like, oh, I don't want sparkle on my face, you know, like, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want sparkle, but this is just really pretty. It blends really, really nice, and it gives you just a really good I actually good just glow. received this, but I have used it twice, and I am obsessed. I knew as soon as I put it on that I would be, I would love this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape um, Concealer. So good. I got the lightest shade because I am very pale, but you guys, just look at wipe off my doe foot, the applicator, and that's still how much coverage I have. Like, look, at that is insane coverage. And then I just Beauty blend sponge. it out with a wet. So it blends out nicely. It gives me full coverage. And it is good for highlighting the under eyes and, you know, doing your high, your contour and highlight. I actually think, yeah, this is a contour concealer. And it so comes in a bigger tube. than I thought. And look at the applicator. Look how big it is. Like, it's a pretty big applicator. I was expecting The next thing that really we small. will talk about is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, which I have used this in the past, and I forgot how much I loved it. This is just it. a lightweight coverage, and you can make it, you can build it, you can make it, I would say medium coverage. I, I don't think, I would say medium coverage is probably the highest you can go with this. I have it in the shade Birch 1.5. But I feel like as much as I build this up, I still don't really get a 
full coverage. It's very natural finish. If you're looking for something that's going to hide your impurities. This plays the best. This is just mainly for a minimal lightweight coverage. At least that's what I get out of it. So, But I still use it. I actually mix it with my it's definitely Jersey something foundation. that you can wear when you are just doing that no makeup look because this really looks like you have no makeup on. It just kind of balances out your color. We have the tar tardiest lip paint in Namaste. And this is just a really pretty nude pink. And I like this color. I actually find these a little they're very creamy, but a lot, a little goes a long way. So that's what it looks like. And these are actually, they don't really dry matte. They're supposed to be matte, but they don't really dry matte. They actually go on matte, if that makes any sense at all. Like, as soon as you put it on your lips, your lips are like matte. So, that's what I kind of like about this. I do have a different color. It's uh, like a more of a mauve color. It's called TBT. And that one, I feel like gets all over the place. Like when I applied that, like I wore it one day and I was like, oh my Formula gosh, it keeps the on color just off. didn't just didn't match. So the this color is a little bit lighter and it doesn't get all over the place like the other one did. So I really like this one. I've been using it. And, and we will go into my favorite highlighter, which you all know is the Kylie Cosmetics. And this highlighter, you guys, oh, I'm obsessed with it. I have it on today. And this is with, no, look at this highlight. This is my highlight that I have on today. There's no cream under that. There, I mean, obviously my foundation, but I set my foundation with powder. So really there's, there's powder under that, but it's still I so I think she dewy. nailed it on this one. And I'm so happy that I tried this because I would never have known they were so good if I was like, eh, I'll pass. But I plan on getting more soon. So Kylie. Kylie did awesome. If you guys are looking for a in-your-face highlighter that works without putting something underneath it, this one is your go-to. And I didn't even put that much on. When I like put a swipe on, I still have that dewy look. Not as intense, obviously. I did I did put on a few layers, so just but I still have. And it would be like, oh my gosh, she's got. We no have the on. KKW by Kali Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipstick. This is my favorite Kimberly. out of the whole collection. This one is just a really, really pretty nude. That's all it is. Just a strict nude, and that's why I think I like it because it's just a lightweight color and I think it complements every skin tint. And then I will go on with a lip product. So this is the Treat Marshmallow Cream Lip Balm. And this actually came with a lip scrub as well, but I like the lip balm better than I like the lip scrub. So this is so good, you guys. It smells like marshmallows. And it is all organic. Don't moisturize and it's cruelty I put it on free. After, I, after I scrub my lips and then I put this on and then I actually put it underneath my eyes as well and then around my nose because I get dry spots and in the morning they're gone. Then the last thing I will talk about because I just did a video on this the other day. I am just raving about this product. I think they nailed it with it. The colors are just stunning. It's so much fun to just do different eyeshadow looks it's and make up looks Hill like this. Palette with Morphe, of course. And I just, if you guys have not seen my swatch video, I will show you guys the colors. How gorgeous. Like, I am obsessed with, like, these five colors right here. And then this red, these two reds right here, I use them literally every day. I actually have them on today. And then I have Jada. That's what the blue color is on my eyes today. And I'm going to do a tutorial on this eyeshadow look. Um... Hopefully next week when I get a mirror. But I just am obsessed with this. I think she nailed it, like I said. They did so good. The colors are so blendable. They're creamy. They're buttery. They're glittery. They're just everything you could want in an eyeshadow palette. If you do not have an eyeshadow palette and you want to experiment with eyeshadows and you just want something that's a starter but you can also do crazy looks with, this is your go-to. They are restocking soon. If you go to morphe.com, you can sign up for their emails and they also are announcing it on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere they have social media. You can definitely look and uh, like Morphe brushes on all of those social media platforms and they will let you know when they are restocking because this is just a gorgeous palette that I think that if I did not order this I would be so so regretful because I I just like I said this I is a great palette. palette. I do recommend this. this to everybody you can get your hands on it. So hopefully the restock comes soon and hopefully you guys That's it for my June favorites. Want. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video.